Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and we are on stop two of National Moth Week. And this evening we are black lighting in uh, Polk County, Wisconsin. You see I got the uh, black light frame up behind me. Um, didn't really go through with the other black lighting video, so I'm just going to uh, just uh, give you a quick rundown on that real quick. And uh, have a, just a more look at the setup. Because um, I didn't really go through it the other video. So hopefully it'll be a great night uh, out uh, at the black light. Hopefully we'll collect a lot of stuff and hopefully we'll see some uh, cool moths. Let's get to it. Alright, so... Instead of... Uh, if you've seen all my other black lighting videos of the channel, I've always just put the sheet on my car and use that. But now I actually um, got this frame here, and this is just a frame of a like a little uh, indoor greenhouse thing that I'm using for the moment. Um, and it worked great the other night. So now I have, a, I have a, I'm put a sheet down on the ground, um, be able to see uh, it sets that land on the ground there easily. And then I'll be able to, then I put the sheet over here. I have a, um, the top thing to put the sheet over it and just hang the black light there and voila, we're good. Uh, uh, this is, the thing is a little bit over six feet tall. Um, so, um, it's pretty much, it's pretty much just six by, a little, maybe, a, a little over six by six. So yeah, and unfortunately I forgot the clothes pins, of course, uh, back home. So I'm just gonna have to do a little jerry reading and makeshift it this evening. And then uh, when I get to my grandparents' house uh, tonight, I'll grab some uh, clothes pins for the rest of the black lighting outings for the next few days. So I'm just going to figure out, uh, get the sheet over and uh, see how it looks then. Alright, so I did get the sheet up. Um, pretty much just had to hang it over a little more. Just turned the light on a minute ago. Then I just, uh, just tied it up here so it should hopefully stay. Luckily, there is very little wind to no wind tonight, so hopefully I really shouldn't have to worry about too much wind, so that'd be nice. And, uh, yeah. So it is still a tad light out, um, but it is 9 o'clock, so I usually try and get the light on about 9 o'clock, 9.15ish. Um, so, yeah. Just gonna relax for a moment and uh, check back, um, see what the light uh, brings in. All right, uh, gonna be our first uh, checkup to see uh, what moths we have. And uh, we already have a sphinx moth right here. Kind enough to actually sit still for us for a minute. Hopefully it'll sit still here. Uh, enough for me to uh, grab the camera and get a picture of it. But I do want to see some other moths here. A little geometer. A little geometrid. And over here looks like some sort of noctuid here. Brown, but I do like the pattern and coloration on that. It looks like there's some green on the sides there. 
I do like that. That's another uh, moth right there. It's like another nut to it. Let's get this flies here. Just good. Hoping to get some caddisflies tonight. It's like we have a ruby tiger moth right there. And we got another knot to it. I don't think that's a species of wing strut. Definitely mosquitoes out. Cool. If not drab little moth there. And luckily the uh, Sphinx moth is still there, so I'll grab the camera and get a picture of that. And uh, yeah. Right now, I think it's been a decent start to the night. All right, just had this moth come in. And uh, this is actually a species of Hapaloa. Uh, I believe it should be a confused Hapaloa, if I remember correctly. Uh, sorry, mosquito biting me there. I see a really beautiful, quite striking moth. The black and white coloration and the orange head there. Definitely a beauty. That one just showed up, so I had to show you guys that one real quick. All right, we got some new moths showing up at the light here. This is a really cool one. Quite modeled pattern. See the just the weird way the hair tufts are on the body. Quite a beautiful species. And here we have a really beautiful uh, chickweed geometer. Pretty common species around here. Beautiful pink and yellow coloration. And uh, right here, we actually have a uh, male two-sock moth. Kind of pretty cool to see those as well. Had something just fly right into my hair. Oh, sorry about the blurriness there. This is what flew into my hair. So we got a little moth there, hiding in the sheet, crevice. Uh, back of the sheet.
Really beautiful moth right there. Another really pale colored moth as well. This might be a type of lichen moth, I'm not entirely sure. There's more small moths there. But it looks like I have a couple to get some pictures of. Another uh, chickweed geometer. This one is sit still here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm gonna go around, uh, get some uh, pictures taken, and uh, collect some more stuff here. All right, time to. Uh, Take a gander at some moths. This is a new one. I really like the pattern on that one. Definitely some sort of not to it. flying right here. I had a moth just show up. Let's see. <coughs> oh, sorry. A dark colored moth right there. I think I swallowed one. Sphinx moth from earlier is still there. If you see here, we actually have another uh, haplo right here. But as you can see, this is a different individual. The markings are a little bit different. This one has a lot more white on the wings than the other one. And it seems more fused together than the other one was more separated. So that's, I think that's pretty cool right there. It's like some, <coughs> some caught in my throat. Mostly small stuff. I see you have a little cram bid right here. Beautiful. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I just don't really like uh, swallowing bugs when you're not expecting to. Oh, what you got here? Got a second sphinx moth of the night. Just look at the coloration on that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, I really like that one too. Beautiful moth right there. Oh, that was a different Heploa. I really like the look of this moth. 
Hopefully I'll stay like that for just a minute while I get the camera ready. That's really cool looking. <coughs> Damn. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera. <coughs> oh, not a moth, but I yeah, hear a giant water bug kind of dive by me. I just heard something and all of a sudden I heard a big thump on the ground and looked over and there it was. Always a treat to see those guys. Giant water birds are really cool. Alright, so yeah, pictures. We're gonna do that right now. Alright, so got a couple more moths here. I really hope the one I want to show you is still there. We got a couple of new ones to the party. Beautiful one right there. I got this large beauty as well. Gorgeous pattern and coloration, even with that more gray pattern. No, it's gone. There was a, uh, there was actually two moths here. This one. And there's a one right next to it that I've never seen before. And uh, most of these moths I have seen before in my life. But the one that was next to this one was uh, brand new. I've never seen before. Luckily, I did, uh, did get a picture of it and the good thing I did was uh, I don't think I'd ever see it again that giant water bug there doing whatever it is doing oh here it is right here Well, that's just a really, really fascinating moth. And I really love the pattern on it. You see the snout on the head there? It's like turned up right there. And just the way the patterning was that those white or that those black marking black lines really cool oh and here we have a lichen moth definite uh lichen moth i believe it's a painted lichen moth actually beautiful wing coloration orange reddish black or orange reddish underwing And body. That's really cool. Definitely a, a lot better moth diversity tonight as uh, than the last uh, video. Number wise of total insects at the sheet, not as much, but that's okay considering uh, the moths we've been seeing. So. I feel the trade-off is pretty good. I've just been seeing some just smaller moths like that and everything. Yeah, so far I say it's been a pretty decent night. Alright, so it's getting kind of late now. Uh, about to patch it up here. Uh, 
So I'm just gonna do one last uh, run through. Uh, after the run through, I'm gonna do a little quick collecting if there's anything left to, uh, or anything else I find I want to keep for the collection. I do really like the look of that moth. That's a really pretty. And uh, we actually have now a uh, third Sphinx moth that showed up. Right there. Got two over here and one on the other side. Still there. Pretty white moth there. That was a pretty looking moth. No, oh, that's gorgeous. Definitely need to get a picture of that one before I pack up. I really like that. Looks like another night two would show up. Here. Oh, yeah. I definitely uh, say this night was a success. Some really beautiful moths showed up. Pretty good uh, diversity of moths. And you know, found some uh, Sphinx moths. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a picture of that one moth I saw. Then, uh, See if there's anything no, I want to collect for the collection, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack her up and go get some sleep and rest up for uh, black lightning tomorrow or for the next video, I should say. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I I uh, I enjoyed this evening. Lots of cool stuff. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.